what is up people welcome to a brand new video i'm really 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 excited about this one man today we are facing dino mma as you guys can see right there this this dude is considered to be the absolute best israel adesanya player in ea sports ufc 4 he is an xbox player esfl competitor one of the better strikers in the game and man he's not not just him but a lot of people have been telling me to go fight this man go fight his israel fight him fight him fight him fight him he's going to blow your mind and i'm super excited about this man i'm really 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 uh, excited about this because you guys already know man i love competing with players who have mastered a very specific fighter especially when they master that fighter in a simulation style so Let's see what uh let's see what the man can do. I did tell him I want full try hard. Full try hard. Do not let me beat you. So I'm expecting the let's go buddy. I'm expecting the absolute best version of Dino MMA that there is. So I do want to give the man credit right off the bat. I mean, using Israel in this game, is it's not easy, man. Izzy does not feel good, to me at least. I've been trying to master this character for a long time right now, and he just doesn't feel that good. So, the fact that he's been able to master the character, there's a lot. it's a very respectable thing. To the body right there. Now... I am able to exploit the weakness as I know that Israel has because I have used Izzy. I know where I struggle with him. And one thing I know is to the body. When you're facing Izzy, like the one thing you don't want to do is like pressure so hard to where the opponent always knows exactly where you are. Like if you're constant constantly in front of him. It's going to be easy for him to set up attacks, spin, spins to the body, teeps to the body. But um, if, you, if you're using a lot of footsies, like you're pressuring him, but a lot of in and out movement, Izzy becomes very difficult to use. He really does. And so that's what I'm trying to do right now. Got that one. Blocks it. Send him back. Essentially, I'm just I'm trying to make him whiff. So like I come in, make him feel like I'm directly in front of him, but then I back right out. I might come in with a feint, and then I back right out to get him to throw. Right there we go. And he throws, whiffs, he gets tired, he gasses himself out. The body. Of course, I am using Robert Whitaker, because, like I said, I'm trying to be as competitive as I possibly can. Every time I face these guys who've mastered a character, I try to make sure that I'm also giving them the absolute best fight that I can. So far, man, he is gassing quick, and that's just because. I'm able to get him to whiff. Look at, oh my god, that's a bad whiff. That's a head kick. Can I set him down right there? Yes, I did. Left hook. There we go. Rocked again. Woo! Oh my god. Damn, that was a bad rock at the end right there. So, first round, definitely mine, and, and yeah, what I figured would work is definitely working. If I was him using Izzy, what I would do is I would switch my tactic from trying to counter to actually pressure in, so I can, because there's there are a few gaps in between that I'm leaving, and if you notice, he's trying to plant and rip. Like, I come in, throw a shot, but then I back up, and then he whiffs as I back up. Nice. What I would do is follow me the moment i back up follow me nice 
Notice the way he's switching stances too. Like he's switching stances. He's like role playing Israel really, really well. To the body. Nice leg kick. I love the way he sets up leg kicks too. Nice. See that right there? Get him to. Yeah. This is hard to deal with. I'm telling you guys right now. This is hard to deal with. Like, the, the style of fight, the style of striking I'm using against him, it's not easy to deal with when you're using Izzy. Yeah. See, I come in, make him feel like I'm about to throw, then I back up and have him whiff. To the body. Rocked. Sit him down. I'm gonna get back up. There's nothing there. Another one. That head is really bad now. Another one. The body. Nice. I'm good, though. Sit him down again. Yeah, he's... He's constantly anticipating that I'll, I'll be there, but I'm just not. Rock again. This should be it. There we go. Okay. Very good first round. So, we're going to do a best of three. And I'm, I'm just, I'm very curious to see if he's going to understand the, the style that I was using. And I'm going to see, I'm going to go, I'm going to message him right now. We're actually, actually talking on uh, Discord. I'm going to message him right now. And I'm going to see if perhaps he understands the style that I was using. And uh, see if he can make adjustments in the second fight. We're going to do uh, best of three, depending on who wins the second one. We might end up doing three fights for this series. But there you go, first one. We're able to get him. I'm going to tell you guys right now, straight up, he's the best striker I've faced so far on Xbox. Since I've been on Xbox. Honestly. And uh, I think he's just getting warmed up. Because I've seen the way he competes in the ESFL. He's pretty goddamn good. It's pretty goddamn good. Let's do it. Okay, see, uh, yeah, he gets it. He gets it. <laughs> I think... I think the second one is going to be uh, more competitive. I think the second one is definitely going to be more competitive. A lot of times, you know, this is the beauty of a best of three. Like, you know, if you just do one fight, eh, sometimes you could just have a bad fight, get beat. But in the best of three scenario, you actually get to, you know, you get a better idea of uh, of who has the upper hand a little bit. Because, you know, both players have a chance to adjust, you know, make adjustments, see the mistakes you made, see what the opponent's strengths and weaknesses are. And then you can just make adjustments come second fight. So... What I'm looking to see right now is I want to see if he's going to leave those... Thank you, sir. If you're going to leave those empty pockets again. If he leaves those empty pockets the way he did in the first round, it's it's going to be about the same outcome. He, it, it really will. Send him right back. Whiff. Whiff. Yes. He's better. Yes. Yes. 
If you notice, look at that. He's he's kind of following my lead right now. Like if I if I back up, he moves forward. The moment I start moving forward, he resumes. He he, that, he he starts backing up again. This is you'll notice Izzy also do that when Izzy fights. Like he doesn't like insist on countering. He's not like Anderson Silva in that sense. If you if you're fighting Israel and you're backing up, he will move forward. He will move forward and take charge of the fight. The only time he really backs up is if you decide to charge at him. There we go. There we go. Dino has made adjustments. Okay. Nice. That's a lot of whiffs. Nice. He draws blood first. Trying to fake me out. Nice. Nice oblique. I'll be honest with you guys. I don't even know how to throw the oblique in this game. It's such a useless strike to me. Like, personally speaking. Like, I don't like using it at all. It just doesn't do anything for me. I don't even know how to actually throw the strike. Combo as he starts with the lead uppercut is so gorgeous to watch. Nice. Look at my head health. Holy shit. That one. Woo! There you go. Cross into a question mark kick. Some beautiful stuff, man. Nice. My man drew blood in the first round. And that, that little adjustment he made of... The push and pull, like I, I keep saying, you know, push, pull. You don't want to, you don't want to let your opponent be the only one pushing because if I'm the only one pushing, then I have all the space behind me to just back out the way. Like I just, I come in, do whatever I want to do, and I can just back out while you're over there trying to counter. You know, you gotta, you gotta push me when I pull back, and when I push, you pull. That's, you know, it's, oh my God. In the first fight, he wouldn't have stood his ground and countered like that. So th these are little adjustments he's making to make him himself a lot more dangerous than he was in the first fight. Look at this. Okay, there you go. He's creating a danger zone. Like if you if you pass this range, I'm dangerous. And I said, I'm da "Wow, Dino, are you kidding me, bro? You just pulled elbow at me, bro. This is sick. <laughs> nice." Slip straight into a question mark kick. I've never seen anybody do that. So far, he's rocked me what, three times now. Nice. Nice. Cross, lead hook into a leg kick. Nice. I mean, it intercepting with the straight so well. Body. So I have this. <laughs> nah. I'm well aware of that one. Nice. Every bone in me wanted to block low right there, but something told me, keep the high block. To the body. Let's go. 
Got him. Mm, he's looking for that pull elbow. Whiff that one. Nice switch. Body. Nice. You know what? I'll give myself credit, man. Usually I get caught with these head kicks because I, I switch my block to low block, but I'm doing a... No! Oh my god. Respect, bro. Respect. Oh my god, that was so freaking sweet, dude. That was so clean. Yo, Dino is trying to see starting to style on me now, man. Jesus. There's the uppercut. Golly. That pull elbow is such a beautiful attack, man. It really is. But I was saying, a lot of times when I see a head kick coming, something, thank you, sir, for some reason, I just, I switch to low block and I get caught. I don't know why, but so far in this fight, I'm just glad I haven't been caught with a head kick yet. So, let's just keep it that way. Because he's, he's, uh, he's throwing a whole lot of question mark kicks and... I don't want to get KO'd with a question mark kick. I'm also curious if he's going to go for the jab straight followed by the head kick. Like I'm... Nice leg kick. That one caused the... Got him. He's looking to pull on me. Got him. This is anyone's fight now. My head kick is actually kind of there, I think. See that? Yeah, we're doing a pretty goddamn good job of blocking the- No! Damn it! Oh, he let me up. He could have he could have finished it right there. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, bro. <laughs> oh my god, duh. Great fucking job, dude. I did not want to lose to a fucking head kick. And he got me with the damn question mark, dude. Wrapped it around my shoulder, too. That is gorgeous, dude. That is freaking gorgeous, Dino, dude. For real, bro. For real, that was so beautiful. Okay, let's let's do one more. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. This, this time, we're not going to talk because he clearly... He has clearly made all the adjustments in the world. Let's try to... Uh, let's try to really focus on this next one and see if I can get him out of here because... God damn. <laughs> oh my god, bro. I did not want to get head kicked. Oh, I should have just blocked. I should have just I should have just stood my ground and blocked. That's what I that that's what I should have done. That's what I should have done. Because that forward lunging where you at, buddy? I know that um there you are that forward cross that he did that, that forward lunging cross that he threw that caused the hit reaction a lot of times when players throw that the next thing that's coming is usually a head kick for some reason I slipped to the side as opposed to ducking it was just a brain fart in that in that moment usually I'm very good with like once that hit reaction happens, boom, I duck down and try to avoid the head kick. But brain fart, 
I slip to the side and I get butchered. All right. Last one. Last one. Well, this dude is good, man. He's good. He is good. He is very, very good. Thank you. If you think you have a better Adesanya, I'd like to see it. Because so far, this man's good. He times that so well, that that oblique, he times that really, really well. He, I don't think he has whiffed that yet. Full body. Fired off an uppercut right there. There we go. Set him down. Caught it. We don't want that. That gasses you out. Another one. Relax. This is how you get pull elbowed. Relax, relax. More rocks will come. More rocks will come. Now violate striking principles right here. Okay, very good first round. That was my round clearly. Oh, he lunged into it. I mean, he leaned into it. Directly into the into the lead hook. Boom. Very curious why he he leaned without holding block though. I'm not saying it would have really done anything considering his block was overcommitted at that point, but thank you, sir. Timed. Double it up. Yeah, he's looking to pull elbow now, which I gotta be very careful with. Missed. Southpaw. My body is getting fucked. Holy shit. 
Yo, he's actually doing more damage to my body than I am his. There we go. We're back to making him whiff. Don't forget. Don't forget the tactic, Dino. Push pull, push pull, brother, push pull. Oh! The corner screen push, push, push at the same exact time. That's funny. Oh, I think he's forgetting. I'm pulling. You got to push, buddy. There we go. Nice. Caught that one. You're not dumping me again, buddy. <laughs> I do not want the stamina hit. No, I'm not getting the takedown. Shut up. It's a striking match. Nice. Got him. He let me live in the second fight when he dropped me and could have had me gone. So if I drop him, I'm going to give him a chance to get up. Just one. Just to return the favor. There we go. Nope. Let him up. That's it, buddy. Now we kill each other. No! <laughs> man, these head kicks, man. You can just see it, like, at the exact moment it's about to connect. I knew that was going to rock me. I just, I saw that. Saw so that jab straight, saw the head kick coming up, see my life flash before my eyes like, oh, oh no. You're glad it was at the end of the round though. Thank you, sir. Oh, he whiffed it right there. He whiffs the oblique, finally. Got him. No. Oh, I thought he was gonna pull the elbow. Woo. That was so close. God, I gotta be careful. He is moving his head all over the place trying to catch me. There we go. No. Mm-hmm. Nice leg kick. Rock the game, careful. No. Back up. Yeah, we go. He's so dangerous, even while rocked. No. Oh. That was a bad shot, bro. Mm-mm. He's going to duck my head kick. He's looking to duck it. I want to try it. This is it. This is it. 
This is it. There we go. Whew. Okay. That was an experience. That was an experience. At the end right there, I had to be very careful. I wanted to throw a head kick. I really did. But he was so defensively sound at the end right there. And he was just noticing every single attack I was trying to use against him. If I would have gone with a head kick, he would have 100% keyed in on that. He would have ducked it. And that would have most likely been it because my head health was low at that point. But overall, man, really, really, really good fights. Thank you to Dino MMA for the uh, for the fight. Really, really appreciate it. Like I said, definitely the best striker I've fought so far over at Xbox. Um, yeah, really appreciate it. Leave a like for the brother. Did a good job. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to click that like button. And I will see you guys later with another video. As always, stay safe. I love you guys. Peace out.